watching Philip Kadori in second place in the number 69, that Porsche 962 from 1990. Wow, that's that is a beautiful car. Mate, that was amazing. Thank you, I still look good. Yeah, really good. Cool, really cool. <laughs> what a sensational car. Yeah. <laughs> the difference between driving this car at Myra and seeing it on a cone course, especially with like the visibility you get out of the car, to coming to a track that I know and love and being able to just have the confidence of, I know where the corners are, basically. I'm gonna go for it. And even then, you know, the Viz is one of the most difficult things on this car because of where you sit and how low you are in the car, which gives an amazing sensation. But driving it here and knowing the track and being able to push and feel more confidence every lap was the best experience. Thank you. Thank you very much. It really, really, really so, was. <laughs> I'm just, so I am incredibly excited to, to keep building you up with the car as well. So obviously we, we ran you in some reasonably modest settings. Accidentally, you've broken a record, quite, quite a significant record. Um, <laughs> so, so obviously the plan is from our side, we're hoping to start turning, turning the dials up now. And, uh, and see where we can get to. We well, please turn the dials up on me anytime. <laughs> I would be delighted to come back into the car. You know, for it being my second time in the car, the, the evolution of the car that I drove last time to the car that I'm driving today is, is noticeable. But honestly, I'm somebody who has a bit of racing experience across a wide variety of cars. And you put me in this, admitted I know the track, but it just feels like an old shoe. It feels like something you get in, you know your friends with. And when you're out there with the fans off, just slowly going out and feeling your way around, feeling the grip, understanding the short wheelbase, it's one thing. You come around for that first flying lap with the fans turned on, immediately the confidence it gives you is just a different world. It's so far apart from any race car I've ever driven. And, and how did you find the braking? Uh, well, look, I'm... I'm directly comparing this this weekend to a 962 Porsche that I'm driving and that car has no ABS um, and but it has all the slicks in the world and as you come up the corkscrew the easiest way to see it is you normally do a break before you reach the top release and then reapply here you just bury your foot into the pedal and it gives you the confidence to just push later and later on the brakes and as the tires come up to temp, and as the fan goes, I'm sure, higher and higher, we're going to be able to brake even later and, and just, even not just the way it enters on the brakes, but the way the brakes bleed out, 
such a short wheelbase with the fans on, the stability is fantastic. There's a lot of trust in the car. Yeah, no, that's great. And, and, and did you miss the gears? I didn't even think about the gears, if I'm honest. The only time I looked at the gears when I came out of the box and when I went back in. And it never entered my mind because I was having so much fun working the line and just trying to think, ooh, I can pick up a little bit more here. I can be braver on entry here. I can be braver on brakes here. It, normally, it's something that I would have thought that I'd miss. But actually, there's so much going on. It's so exciting. You don't miss a thing. Great. And did, how did you find it on the limit of grip? Did you? Did... The grip limit is, I mean, again, fan off to fan on. It's it's a different ball game, but it was never twitchy. Mm. The car turns in, and you kind of feel the the nose just bleeding off. And all you do is open your hand a little bit, and it grips back up and and just works the nose in. It, oh, it's a really friendly car that you built that's capable of. I think the reason why we broke the record today without thinking about it too much was that it is a car you just immediately feel comfortable in and gives you confidence to work in every lap. The, the workload on the driver is quite low, so it's really enjoyable to just turn a little bit of a faster lap each time. Yeah, and, and so, so 118, that's, that's, that's the fastest lap you've ever done here, isn't it? And we've, we've sort of accidentally done that. Um, that is four seconds faster than I've ever been around here and with, God, half the effort. It's, it's just, and that's not to say it's with half the joy. The joy is in the pace and is in hearing all kinds of different things. And if you could turn me up and I could go back out, I'm sure I'd be smiling just as big, maybe even bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll get outrageous. <laughs> Thank you very much.